Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video, a special video. I'd like to welcome you all to the start or like the continuation of Sharing is Caring. It's been many, many months since I posted any Sharing is Caring episodes, um, but uh, today is finally the day. Episode 13, the last one we did was Conveyor Belts, which yeah, was way too long ago, but uh, today we are back. And you might be wondering why, why are we back? Well. Uh, as one of my uh, goals or like one of my miles, milestone things on my Patreon page, uh, I said that um, once it was reached, I would start producing Sharing is Caring episodes again weekly. And thanks to the amazing people that have like pledged their support on Patreon, uh, this series is now up, uh, up on its way again. So I'd like to thank all the people that have been supporting me uh, for the last months actually on Patreon, um, and yeah, basically we're kicking it off again with this uh, cool series where we show cool stuff. So without further ado, uh, I'd like to start off with a bang with something awesome. Um, this is a uh, obviously a missile, uh, but it's it's a very very like special one. It's um, a design by Dominus Zorks Contraptions. Uh, it's been posted uh, two weeks ago. Uh, it's a small channel. I'll put a link in the description. I urge you guys like to go and subscribe to him and to, like support him into making more cool videos. So basically, what he did is he took the sort of engine uh, that was on the lightning missile and he made it fit into a into a two by two engine. So this is a this is like twice as fast as a tomahawk missile. Now. That by itself is already really impressive, but the thing he did was he turned it into a nuke. Uh, I released the tactical nuke missile a while back, you know, with the, all the minecarts. I have like 20 of them here now, which is kind of overdoing it, but you know, why not? Um, and he uh, yeah, basically managed to be able to push um, unpowered rail forward and then it will like trigger the thing. Now. His design, I had to adjust just a little bit because uh, he didn't account for the like the disynchronization of the minecarts. So basically, all his minecarts would explode on the same spot and will not have a, like a very powerful punch. Um, so I adjusted it a little bit. Still, like 95% of the credits to uh, to him though. Um, but I adjusted a little bit to make it like explode in a ridiculous manner. So without further ado, I will show you like the explosion and the speed because this thing is really fast, uh, but I will also show you how to build it later on in the video. So added more TNT, lots of TNT minecarts, and boom, that's what you get. Now this is a, I don't know, 15 thick wall. And I think, let's see how far we actually got. We went in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. So this is sandstone. Uh, it's not the toughest block available, obviously, but like, I don't know, for a single missile, I think this is pretty ridiculous. And also combined with the fact that it flies really, really fast. You guys, if you've played Missile Wars, you know the lightning missile goes really, really fast. This is the same speed. And um, yeah, it's really, really, really nice. So um, it's directional missile. I have to add that, it's very important. Um, you can fly along the z-axis, which is the little blue line you see now, which is like the one tiny limitation on this thing, but still, I think it is awesome. So I'm going to make a cut here, and then we'll go to the tutorial, and I'll show you how you can build this. And again, I urge you, there's a link in the description to Dominic, Domini, eh, Dominus Zorg's contraptions, and I would really appreciate it if I hop on Social Blade tomorrow, and I got check like how much more subscribers he's gained that like he has gained a ridiculous amount. So um, yeah, let's go to the tutorial. Okay, as for the tutorial, you will need a variety of blocks, slime blocks, TNT, you need the powered rail. Uh, we're gonna need minecarts later as well. Sticky pistons, normal pistons. I like to use glass because it doesn't ex um, absorb much of the explosive power. Uh, you need a solid block in order to push the minecart. Lots of redstone blocks and a furnace just to block it off at the start. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll add a list of items you'll need to the description. Um, as for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically the missile is traveling towards the target, so that direction. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice the 2x2 missile into two slices, build both, and then basically fire it off, because I think that will be the easiest way to build it. Um, so let's get started. So sticky piston facing towards the back, then you're going to need some slime locks positioned like so. Then we move to the front. Now this furnace I just placed is in order to block this piston from extending. Um, but yeah, up the front, uh, slime lock, then you need some glass so it doesn't interact with a redstone block next to it. Another slime block, and then you get a whole layer of TNT. Now there's, a, there's actually a reason for all this TNT to be here, because this was not in the original design. Uh, but basically what I want to do is, as soon as this thing bumps into the wall, normally it would retract, but seeing as this is already at the sort of push limit, uh, that basically doesn't happen, and that causes it to uh, properly explode on impact. Um, anyways, uh, on the other side, if we go all the way to the back, we get a piston facing forward, piston facing backward. This is the sort of, you know, common uh, instant, instant like pistons pushing. Uh, something that's also in the lightning missile, and I've actually showed in a variety of designs. Um, then moving forward, we get a slime block here. And then we actually need to use some glass blocks uh, because I don't want it to stick to the redstone block and I also don't want TNT to be uh, ignited. Then we need a solid block and there's also a reason for that. And that has to do with the fact that I want to make sure that uh, my TNT card gets pushed as soon as the powered rail is activated. Uh, then we get a sticky piston here. I guess we can sort of already remove the burners now, but let's not. Um, slime lock here, powered rail that's unpowered. And we're going to put a whole bunch of mine cards on top of that later on. And then finally one redstone block here. So what you want to do now is, I guess we can get rid of the furnace. Uh, we're going to place a redstone block here. We're going to just like quickly steal one of those. Then we'll put a block there and a block here. And now it's kind of up to you, like how, how, how much do you want to overdo this? So if we go to minecart, I don't know why the search thing doesn't work, but anyways, TNT minecart. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know, a lot. You have to uh, like, at some point, the adding more doesn't really help. I think at around 10, 10 should be good. Like 10 is already like really powerful. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know, how many do I have now? I've got 20 now. Let's actually, for testing purposes, let's make it 10. At the top left, you'll see the E number. That's the amount of TNT minecarts. So now it's 11 and now it's 10, E dot dot 10. Okay, so there we go. So this is 10 TNT minecarts and then a whole bunch of other TNT. And then if you want to fire this, what you want to do is you want to get a flint and steel. And as soon as you, you feel like it's the time, the time is ripe to blow up stuff, you activate this, it flies towards the wall, and as soon as it hits it, the TNT will get launched forward and you'll end up with a massive explosion. Now, as you can see, this explosion is not a lot smaller than the one that I had earlier with twice as many TNT minecarts. So yeah, guys, uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this, or like, I hope you enjoyed the first new episode of Sharing is Caring. If you did, please be sure to leave a like on the video so that I know what I'm doing is like good and I should continue it. Um, as for, like I mentioned earlier, link for Dominus Zork's contraptions is in the description, as well as a download link to this world and the required items in order to build this missile. So uh, yeah, everything's done. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all uh, later. Bye bye.